What's going on guys? It's Alexa back with another video and today I'm going to be updating you guys on the X-Sprite lights or Sprite lights that I got from Sprite not too long ago and on the Jeep Wrangler I just have one small issue that kind of popped up and I wanted you guys to know and I did buy the replacement part because I'm not sure how this happened but I figured I'd give you guys an update because it could potentially happen to you as well so let's go ahead and get right into it. So if you guys notice anything different, if you guys can see these three lights, my brake lights, they all came from the company X-Sprite. And the only problem is they work just fine. I'm pretty sure they all still work. But the third brake light, um, somehow the lens popped off of this uh, housing. So these LED strips are basically exposed to the elements. As you can see, it just rained. I'm pretty sure that's not safe, but I'm not going to take any chances and I went ahead and ordered a replacement part for this, but yeah, I'm really not sure how this may have popped off. Um, and I did check on the website. Uh, I, I got these from Amazon. I did see someone complain about the same issue. Uh, they had theirs pop off, so um, I'm not really sure how or why, but regardless, I went ahead and ordered a replacement part. Thankfully, it was only about 20 bucks to buy just the third brake light alone. I'll go ahead and show you guys. So here we have it. Very simple instructions. As you guys can see here, you literally just undo a couple of screws at the top and the bottom, and then you disconnect the plug from the stock brake light, and then you basically just uh, put it back in with the new one. And here it is. So here's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> so you guys can see the lens is definitely off. So I'll show you guys how to replace this really quickly, but it is unfortunate. Um, I didn't do anything crazy that would have made the lens cover popped off. Um, I didn't run it through any car wash recently that would have potentially snagged it. I didn't back it up against a tree or go off-roading where it could have snagged on something. So it's just really odd to me that <laughs> I just randomly checked the back of the Jeep one day and I was like, that's different. So let's go ahead, take this off. I kind of want to see if it feels loose. And so I'm messing with the housing and I'm, you know, moving it around. It doesn't feel too loose and it's not like there's a gap or anything where it could get snagged. So I just think it's really odd that one day it just popped off. So either way, that tinted lens looks really good. So you guys can see that's definitely how it's supposed to be. But yeah, very easy install. Literally is going to take me like five minutes. I just got to find the proper uh, screwdriver head for it. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead, get this swapped out and uh, we'll see how it looks after. So step one to change this out, you first open your tailgate. There we go. It's a little heavy with the uh, spare tire on it, but got a nice little uh, subwoofer system back here that the previous owner installed. So the good part is the music is great. The bad part is I really don't have trunk space. So that's unfortunate. But either way, so because of opening this tailgate, I have access to my screws here. And this is the type of uh, head that they need. I believe they need a Torx bit. We're gonna find one that fits this size. And once I find that, I'm gonna update you guys on what size it actually is. All right, so these screws take a 15 millimeter Torx bit. It can fit right in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and try to wedge this out of the housing.
now with this back portion off, we just simply unplug and replace. idea how that lens popped off but <laughs> ironically it still works so there's that <laughs> but I didn't want to take the chance of potentially it shorting out because it's exposed and then I don't have a third brake light and then I get pulled over and that would suck <laughs> and install the new one the exact same way pushing it in. All right. There we go. All right, I'm gonna have to set you guys down for this first part, but you get the idea. All right, everything is nice and buttoned up. Screws are installed in both areas. So last thing to do is just to make sure it still works. Ah uh, yes, perfect. Everything looks perfect. Yeah, the other lights are still holding up well, so no complaints on those, but yeah. Yep, blinker's still looking good. It's weird that, that uh, the hitch hookup always blinks whenever the right one does, but hey, either way, looking good. All right, and just like that, we're all done. So everything looks good to go. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that update. Um, it's unfortunate that the lens came off, but you know, it happens. Um, it is aftermarket stuff. So who knows, it could have been just a faulty part or maybe it got snagged on something a while ago and it took me this long to realize it. But either way, I'm pretty sure it's been working. Um, and you know that old piece may still work but didn't want to take any chances of it going out on me so went ahead and replaced it didn't take me any time at all just one little screwdriver and that was it so if you guys are interested or if this ever happens to you um this piece alone like i said was about 25 dollars or 20 dollars i think um i'll leave you the link if you do need to replace just the third brake light itself but this whole kit was uh less than a hundred dollars and when i did get it it was on a Black Friday, so it did um, come on sale, so that was nice. So if you guys have any questions for me about that, please let me know in the comment section below. And um, if you guys have any recommendations for taillight companies for Jeep Wranglers, um, this is the JK model. It is a 2011 Wrangler, so um, you can leave that in the comment section below as well. And, you know, I'm still planning on doing a few mods here and there, but I got to slow down because, oh, thank you, Blaine. Every time, every time. But yeah, as I was saying, I do have to slow down because the news is I am about to be getting my own place soon. So I'm not going to have as much extra spending money as I used to have. Um, so that's the big news that I have going on right now. I'm really excited, but also just trying to be very practical at the same time. So it'll be a new experience, a fun experience, but um, I'm definitely trying to save money where I can. So unfortunately, the Jeep and the Camaro are going to have to take the back burner right now as far as mods and upgrades and stuff so trust me it hurts my heart to say it but i'm trying to be responsible and prioritize you guys understand and if you don't that's unfortunate but anyways so yeah let me know what you guys think of this and um i'll try to keep videos coming out as often as i can but move out date is coming up really soon so i apologize in advance if you guys don't see as many uploads from me but Life happens to everyone. Thankfully, this is something good. So just try to support me as much as you can. Like I said, watch my old videos. Uh, yeah, I would really appreciate all the support. Thank you guys for the support so far. Make sure you check out my Instagram, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my content. I do try to post as often as I can. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe during this time. And thank you guys again for watching. I hope to have a video for you soon. This outro seems very long to me. I'm sorry. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.